So in the spirit of The Walking Dead, it looks like Mojo has compiled a top 10 most shocking Walking Dead deaths. Most shocking ones to me were, of course, the ones we witnessed last night between Abraham and Glenn. The one that really bothered me, too, was uh, the one where the girl got shot through the head with the arrow. That bothered me. That really bothered me. I did not like that, how they did that to her. The other one, the only other one that I can think of right now that bothered me was the one where um, the older guy got ripped open in the field. Um, also, I'm, I'm going to make a distinction between killing a pregnant woman and um, killing a pregnant woman that everyone's attached to and the way the story's going. I don't watch um, Game of Thrones all that religiously. I'm only on the fourth episode of the first season right now. And I don't know who died in that red wedding or whatever you're talking about. You're all spoiling it too. I'll make sure that you all don't get to spoil again. But, um, that means I'm going to ban you for spoiling. So stop spoiling stuff. Anyway, so, um, I don't know if it was a super major character like Maggie. But if it, if it wasn't, then you totally understand what I mean. It wasn't me saying, I'm not going to watch it. Because it was a pregnant woman being killed. No. I'm saying I'd be angry and not watch it because it was Maggie, a super major fucking character, and she's pregnant. Why do you didn't seem to get that? Oh yeah, fuck John Cena, fuck Negan, and fuck Daryl for now. I still like Daryl, but fuck him for now. Let's get this. <laughs> one time that summer. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about it's that best one. not to get too attached to anyone. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 shocking deaths from The Walking Dead. Number 10, Lori Grimes. I think the baby's coming. If The Walking Dead has taught viewers anything, that one it's that me. no character is safe. But I felt Children, like it was coming. The elderly, the physically fit, I they really all did taste feel like it was the same with her. to a walker. Number 9, Lizzie Samuels. I'll get you more. It wasn't shocking. Lizzie? Wait, no, Lizzie. After seeing Sophia's fate in season two, we learned never to trust The Walking Dead with children. We watched in horror as Lizzie grew so detached from reality that she killed her own sister, thinking it would prove her belief that walkers aren't bad. I was ready for that one to happen. Come back. Heartbroken. I really was. Carol must kill this confused little girl whom she loves. That one even bothered me. Miss Lizzie can no longer be trusted around the living. I knew that one was coming. Look at the flowers. As soon as she did it, I said, uh, Carol's gonna kill her. She's gonna take her out to pasture. I knew it. I knew it was coming. I was like, uh, uh. Number eight, Jesse, Sam, and Ron Anderson. Sure. Everyone suspected that young Sam was not long for this world. The saying yeah. that meek shall inherit the earth does not apply in a zombie apocalypse. And Sam was about as meek as Yeah, I gotta say, I didn't Jessie, think they the other all hand, three just were gonna get it. more than capable when the wolves attacked. Sam, the old zombie guts camouflage trick was working perfectly. But from the very first nervous mom, Sam sealed his fate and that of his family. The way they were torn apart, brutal. Get him on his head. Rick chopping off Jesse's arm. Harsh, but necessary. And then, Ron finally snapped. Ah, yes, Michelle. Number seven, Dale Horvath. Yeah, this one bothered me. I didn't like how they ripped him open like that. They get superhuman strength this with being a walker. Both for viewers and for Dale. But um, before Herschel warmed up, Dale was the grandfather. Father, Herschel's and bothered me the worst. Group, and the his most. sudden loss hit them hard. Sorry, brother. His death also taught us that walkers can do just as Herschel's much bothered me the most until what we have seen recently. It was recently. hardest on Carl, however. Number six, Denise Cloyd. Oh my glasses. Yes. On this show, you should always be concerned if a secondary cast member starts to get too much screen time in any given episode, since it often means their demise is imminent. Really? But, and I wanted you here because I you're alone. Probably really for the first time me. in your life. 
and because you're stronger than you think you are, which gives me hope. If only we could have heard the end of it. Honestly, who could have seen that crossbow bolt coming? Well, certainly not Denise, given that it entered through the back of her skull. And if you don't wait... Ah! Number five, Noah. Shoot the aim. Couldn't they have taken Nicholas instead? Glenn had a solid plan for escape, and Nicholas totally blew it. One of the best original characters created for the series. Noah was I helpless. I felt like his was coming too. I did. I just it was just something about him. I felt like it was coming. Four of cast members. What a horrible and surprising way to go, though. See what he would. Number four. Shane Walsh. He's got no bites. Yeah, none you can see. I knew Shane's was coming. To live a short, cruel life. After when he turned the gun on him in that conflict came to a head. I knew eventually he was gonna get his. So this is where he I just didn't know he was gonna stab him. We never expected him to succeed, but we also didn't think Rick could bring himself to kill his once best friend. Didn't it seem like Rick I had did. talked him down? Then the knife I did. flashed. In the end, Shane had broken Rick's trust beyond repair and left him no choice. I knew that shit was coming. <laughs> Fuck you, Shane. You jealous motherfucker. Oh, and zombie Shane's death was equally shocking. <laughs> Number three, Beth Green. You keep telling yourself I didn't expect that. It takes just until the I song. didn't expect that. We accept that The Walking Dead isn't concerned with our feelings, but this felt unnecessarily cruel. We spent half a season following the group's search for Beth. No, I just need Noah. I didn't like that bitch. And then you can leave. I could A selfless stand character, as always, Noah accepts, telling the others to go. As viewers, we were sad but accepted it knowing that Maggie and Beth were about to be reunited, a pick-me-up they both desperately needed. Then, Beth stabs Don, and Don shoots Beth in the head. We spent so long waiting for this reunion, and it all disappeared with the flash of a gun. She's Number lost two, so fucking much. Herschel. Green. Herschel. You say you want that to was the one, because it was the way it was done, too. That means you'd be willing to hurt people to get it. Then he finished he fucking Maggie doing it. Used something positive to lift their oh, I wanted to kill the fucking governor part. after that. The death of Herschel was one of the most With my bare hands. The show. For his daughters, they had taken boy, out Maggie like that. If they had let Maggie died die died last night, I'd have fucking flipped. She lost her, her, her. So much. We figured the I can't even fucking talk. Finally cut him some she she lost the her sister, her father, her, well, husband. Well, now, now her husband. But if it, man, if it had been her, I'd have flipped the fuck out. Motherfucker. I'm not watching that either. I'm not watching. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Brought a toilet paper? Honorable mentions. Ain't yeah. <laughs> he a piece of shit anyway? I was happy about that. I wasn't happy about that though. T Dogs didn't really surprise me. Don't they rip his throat out? Yeah. That was some sick shit. Oh, yeah, 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 remember hers. Oh, yes, that one bothered me. I was like, what? What? That was like, what? Besides, I already made you a promise. Those were satisfying. Yeah, those were satisfying for me. <clears throat> that was very satisfying right there. But the fact that Rick was losing was bothering me. That really bothered me. Yes, very Number oh one, so satisfying. Glenn Reed. And there it was. The death that many fans were expecting, but I'm everyone not fucking prayed watching. would never come. You thought you were safe. I get fucking watching In the comic books, Glenn is the one killed seemingly at random by Negan, 
But the television series decided to throw us a curveball and make Abraham Negan's first victim. Oh, look at that! Taking it like a champ! had time to process the loss of the show's mustachioed badass before Negan, angered by Daryl's reprisal, makes Glenn Lucille's next victim in the show's Fuck you, eye-opening moment to date. Back to it. <laughs> Just to make sure the grief hit home. Rick later dreams of a future made impossible by Negan, where all the characters, including Abraham, Glenn, and Glenn's unborn child, Although I think Maggie should have been screaming and begging and crying. I think that should have been. Do you agree with I list? thought her reaction to that was, you know, not I'm real. Kill you. Which Walking Dead death shocked you the most? I wish it didn't have to end. Not this way. For more riveting top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Yeah, we all gonna be doing that. Fuck you. <laughs> all right, y'all. I think I have said everything I've had to say during this video. Piss me off again. Post your comments down below. Let me know what you all thought about this. If you enjoyed my reaction, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Make sure you go subscribe to Watch Mojo. They got 13 million subscribers. You're probably all, all of you watching this are probably subscribed to them anyway. One million subscribers. Woo!